patients may be unaware of the relevance of discussing leg pain with their cardiologists. There are several different causes of leg pain and vascular disease is amongst the most common. Plaque may build up in the arteries supplying the legs, much as it may build up in the coronaries supplying the heart. The process of atherosclerosis results in narrowing of the vessels, which may manifest as pain, discomfort, fi fatigue, or even aching in the legs as the patient walks, and then it improves when the patient rests. The location of the pain may be gluteal pain, thigh pain, or calf pain, depending on the location of the blockage and the extent of the blockage. Often, the patient finds that he, can, he or she cannot walk as far as he used to without having to stop and rest. In more advanced cases, the legs may even hurt at rest. Some cases may even present as non-healing ulcers or infections in the feet or in the legs due to poor circulation. Leg pain may also be caused by leaky vein valves that result in pooling of the blood in the lower extremities. This could result in a condition called chronic venous insufficiency. Patients with chronic venous insufficiency may experience throbbing, aching, heaviness in their legs. They may experience calf tightness or bulging varicose veins. If you or your doctor suspects your leg pain may be due to vascular origin, then a referral may be made or vascular testing may be ordered. Fortunately, the diagnostic tests are painless and fairly quick tests that may be performed in a vascular lab. The patient should request that testing be performed only in a nationally accredited vascular lab of the sort we have right here in our office. In case arterial disease is suspected, an ankle brachial index may be obtained. An arterial sonogram provides a more in-depth look at your legs and helps us determine the next steps in treating your condition. In case venous disease is suspected, a venous ultrasound may be obtained to identify reflux in the leg veins. If you are experiencing leg pain and edema, or if any of these symptoms sound familiar to you, then ask your physician if a referral may be appropriate. If you are diagnosed with this condition and fail to respond to conservative management, then most of the treatments we offer are minimally invasive and can get you back on your feet in no time.